Hey guys, it's Andy, back here on Pokemon Showdown, ready to do some uh, laddering once again. If you saw my previous video, which wasn't a laddering video, but like a top 10 list, and you saw the preview, you'll know that uh, this is going to be a, a rain team. Uh, you can't see the final Pokemon, but I, uh, I spoiled it in the last uh, video if you watched that. If not, the team is right here. Um, Dan Brock, uh, Pelipper, Hurricane Scald, Roost, U-Turn, uh, Mega Swamper with Power Up Punch. I thought about giving it Jolly because as we saw, I believe the last episode, um, Nihilego, Scarf Nihilego actually outspeeds, uh, Adamant, uh, Mega Swampert in the rain and can hit with, uh, Grass Knot. Though I don't think anyone saw that, I may have to post a replay right now showing, uh, what that's all about. Anyway, next we got uh, Specs Kingdra, Hydro Scald, Ice Beams, Draco Meteor. I might drop Scald for Surf. Uh, here, uh, Iceum Z Weavile. Uh, everyone uses Banded Weavile on Rain uh, recently, I've seen. Like, there's there's Rain everywhere on the ladder, which I'm sure you guys know. Um, these four Pokemon right here, Pelipper, Swampert, uh, Kingdra, and Weavile, are on essentially every Rain team you see. Maybe swap Swamper for another Mega like Pinsir or Scizor or something. But for the most part, these four are on like every rain team you'll see. The thing about that though is most people use Banded Weavile to hit uh, Tangrowth harder. But I just I don't really like Banded Weavile. I think it's a little too like too easy to play around. So I'm gonna try Iceum Z Sub Zero Slammer. Uh, actually. I think Oko's Assault Vest Tangrowth, and uh, like Tangrowth is a little threatening to this team, which is why I got Hurricane as opposed to, what do I not have, Defog, and uh, here I got Life Orb Torn also with Hurricane and Rain Dance Taunt U-Turn combination. Pretty standard I guess, though I don't see this Tornadus much, um, I think the Prankster Taunt may come in handy, not Taunt, uh, Rain Dance may come in handy because kinda probably gonna need rain a lot. And then finally the last member which you can't see is a leftovers Jirachi, specially defensive with Iron Head, Stealth Rock, Healing Wish, and finally Thunder. I actually had a test battle off screen. I was facing a stall opponent. I was going through the motions. Uh, rain versus stall is kinda hit or miss. Um, I didn't want to get up rocks because I was fearing uh, Mega Sableye coming in so I went for uh, Iron Head but my opponent actually went uh, Skarmory, and then uh, I, he didn't expect the Thunder, and I caught him with the Thunder, and he just forfeit right there. That's how you beat Stall with Rain. Hoping to do that again today. Also, what I'm hoping to do today, though, is actually help uh, a friend of mine. He's having trouble with uh, Rain. Like, like I said, there's so much Rain on the ladder right now, and he's having uh, some trouble... Uh, combating rain so what I'm gonna try to do today this is gonna be like a I'm probably gonna title this episode like tutorial or not tutorial like tutor session or something um, but I'm gonna like analyze how my opponents play against my rain for, for starters rain is a very matchup based uh, team structure style or whatever you want to call it there's gonna be some games where I probably won't be able to do anything my opponent will just kind of auto win basically and there's Conversely, going to be some games where I'll do the same to my opponents, but we're probably going to get a decent amount of games where it's, you know, kind of evenly matched and it's determined by, like, how the opponent plays, you know, so I'm going to try to explain how to win against rain teams this episode, which is kind of unusual because I'm using a rain team, so I might not be very good at this, but hopefully by the time this is done, Ty, if you're watching this, you'll have a better understanding of, uh like how to uh, combat rain without having to alter your team really just how you can play differently maybe but yeah um where are we at on the ladder nice 15 13 should get some uh, pretty interesting games I think 
All right, anyway, without uh, any further ado, let's uh, just look for a battle. Um, I'm going to try to win, of course, but on top of that, I'm, I'm going to try to, like, see how my opponent plays, you know, so... Starting out, I'm very comfortable with this matchup. Um, I'm expecting my opponent to lead Tapu Koko, expecting my uh, Pelipper, so I'm actually going to lead Jirachi, as that's exactly what happens. I kind of want to Stealth Rock, though he might taunt. I'll get him up. <laughs> I said it, I said get him up as of when talking about Stealth Rocks. I've been watching so many, uh, I've, I finally caught up on my watch later list, you guys. I know a, a while ago I had like like a hundred videos from PokeTubers I watched, just uh, things that I needed to catch up on because I haven't, I wasn't playing Mons or even watching Mons in that month. But I've finally been, uh, you know, catching up on videos. And uh, okay, he's the Life Orb Coco noted. Goes out to Heatran. All right, I'm. I think I want to go out to my Pelipper, because if he Magma Storms, I can U-turn. He does Magma Storm, and like I said, I'm just going to U-turn, because this will allow me to escape as he gets up his own rocks. I guess I could have stayed in and attacked, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> now, though, I could go out to Swampert, which I think I want to do. And I don't see a reason to not waterfall. It hits Lottie harder than Earthquake would, obviously. Pretty sure it Oko's Heatran. As it looks like he stayed in and sacked it, so... Heatran goes down. Um, goes out to Latios. I'm assuming this must be Scarfed in order to do something like that. So I'll go right back out to my uh, Jirachi. Okay, he's Z-Move. Devastating Drake. Not sure why he uh, did that at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't get it. But I'm gonna fire off a uh, a thunder. Maybe paralyze him. No pair, unfortunately. Nice uh, sixty percent chance, and it doesn't happen. Can I do anything with this? Yes, I can healing wish. Is it worth keeping though? I don't think so. I, I can't really switch anything in, so... When he stayed in earlier... Well, maybe... Actually, how much does... Latios take from, uh... Swampert? Ice Punch does 80 min. So, yeah, I'm not sure why he, uh... He brought this in earlier. I guess it was a nice... Bluff? Oh, I guess I... Did do a little damage with Thunder. But yeah, just gonna safely go for the Ice Punch. Um, his only switch in really would be like Greninja, I guess, and then maybe hit me with Water Shuriken or uh, Mawile and then try to Sucker Punch me. But he just stays in and sacks his Latios. Again, not really sure why. Maybe he feels his other members are more important. Uh, Bisharp comes out. Uh, should I. Should I pup here? Bisharp doesn't knock out, does it? With su one Sucker Punch? No, not even close. So I'm gonna Earthquake. Get rid of this. Could have uh, Power Up Punched, probably knocked him out, but Rain is gone, so... Uh, Kingdra looking kinda nice. Can probably go Greninja right now. As he opts to go Mawile instead. I don't particularly need this. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him set up, potentially. As he, uh... Did set up. Okay. What can I do now? Try to outplay the Sucker Punches? Just... Yeah, Sucker Punch me. Um... Wait a minute. How much does plus two... Do with Sucker... Okay, 85 max? That's a roll to knock me out. That's actually insane. So I could either attack him here, risk the uh, thing, but if I get that wrong and he play roughs or something, 
It's actually insane how much that does. I think I feel more safe going for a uh, ice shard, and then I can outplay some sucker punches. Well, this is how you win, apparently. Yep, I don't think I can win. Try scalding here, I guess. He's definitely gonna suck a punch right now, even though I can roost. Yep. There's just no way. Oh. Forgot I would go first. I really need to outplay five more sucker punches. And even then, I'm gonna run out of rain turns. This is r this right here is how you beat... You beat rain. You bring in sucker punch into the mix. Good grief, what a game. What a game, man. So, game one, lost because of Sucker Punch. Always amazing. Now, this opponent has Tangrowth. This is a matchup I'm much more afraid of. Though there is no Sucker Punch mind games we have to play around with, so at least there's something. My gosh, I'm so tilted by that last game, you don't even understand. Am I even recording? Okay. Greninja is also a problem, like opposing Greninjas. I want to lead Pelipper. As Celesteela is his lead. In that case, I'll just Scald for some nice uh, burn chances. As he uh, autonomizes, which is strange. This is going to do a lot. And I get the burn, so... That's cool. Can this thing knock me out, I wonder? I'll go Jirachi, because I actually have Thunder. <laughs> it's, uh, nice predicted Sky Strike. That was even a crit, not bad. Now watch this Thunder. This guy's not gonna expect it either. Don't do it. Don't go out to your Landorus, even though it's a hard counter to most Jirachis. Stay in with your burnt half-dead Celesteela at plus two. Uh, what's Zygarde? Okay, that works too, I guess. I guess I'll go Pelipper, see how much I take from Thousand Arrows. Not too much, um... I don't know what damage that is. Not Bandit, I see. I'll U-turn. And it goes Celesteela. Got four turns left of Rain. I'll just go Swampert now. Should be able to knock this thing out with, uh, Waterfall. Oh, I wonder if, uh, Ice Punch can knock him out. Celesteela... If it can... I'm definitely going for it in case he goes for, uh... Okay, it can't. He goes for, uh, a switch to Tangrowth, but he just stays in and sacks his Celesteela, so... Uh, there's that. I cannot believe I lost the last game to Sucker Punch. That's just insane. But I can't think about it, because the more I think about it, the more upset I'll get, and the worse video this will be, and the worse, uh, you know, this whole documentary thing will be. Um, I want to go Torn, because he'll, if he Giga Drains, you know, that's cool. If not, I'll, I don't know if I should Hurricane or U-Turn. Just Hurricane, see what he does. Yeah. Okay, I was not expecting Landorus. Get a crit and knock that out. I'm not sure if that crit mattered. As T-Tar comes out. I'll Rain Dance right now, get that back up. As Tangroth comes out, nice, there's the Rain. Now... I'll U-turn because he should switch, and he forfeits. Okay, so... Uh, the opponent didn't really play optimally there. I think this opponent had a much easier chance of defeating me, but ended up, uh, like, his plays with, like, leading 
Celestila and setting up immediately, I don't really agree with. I think he could have played that much better and had a much better shot against me. I don't know, though. Alright, let's uh, go for some more. Okay, opponent has... What am I... Oh, Mega Camera just got released. Uh, that's uh, not good for my opponent. Though he does have Thunderous in combination with Crawdon with and Celebi. So, despite him having a Camel, uh, which doesn't do very well against Rain, he has these three behemoths, which is probably going to cause me a lot of problems. Oh boy, I don't even know what to... I'm not sure what I want to lead with. Jirachi could be nice if he leads this, expecting my Pelipper. That way I could get up rocks. Because what do I do if he leads Scizor? I guess... Go Pelipper. Okay, he leads Celebi. Very nice. Wonder if... Celebi dies to knock off. Bulky. It does not. Doesn't seem to be able to knock me out in return. I'll just go for knock off as he stays in. Oh, this is a Trick Room team. I didn't even realize that. Get to do. I'll just pursuit. I believe this uh, works. Yeah. So Selby goes down. That might have been his only Trick Room user. Not sure. Crawdon comes in, and I need to sack something. <laughs> This could be nice for taunting his Porygon. That can also set up Trick Room. I'll get up my Rain, I guess. His ESDs. Wonder if this dies to. Uh, do I die to Knock Off, actually? Okay. Oh, plus. T oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> Just Hurricane. As he doesn't need. Oh, right. And he misses Crab Hammer. That is unfortunate. That's really bad for my opponent. Like, that had a very good chance of knocking me out, so. They're just gonna go for a last ditch Aqua Jet, and, uh. I'm able to knock him out like that. And he just ends up forfeiting. I can't say I blame him. That was a really unfortunate turn right there. That missing of, uh. Crab hammer, but uh, it happens. Can't do anything about it, so let's just move on. Ah, rain v rain. He does not have Swampert. He does not have a Mega at all, it seems. He does have Ferrothorn, though, which I have nothing on my team that can really handle Ferrothorn, so. Nice. I think I ought to lose this one. I don't have a way to break Ferrothorn at all, so. I guess I'll try to burn it, maybe? What will I lead with? Kingdra. As he leads Coco, unfortunately. Thunderbolt does so much damage. Hydro can knock him out. Um, I'm just gonna go Jirachi, see what he does. As he actually has Dazzling Gleam, randomly. Okay, I'm gonna get up my rocks. What's this? Gigavolt, Havoc, Almost knocks me out. Not quite, though. I gotta let my Jirachi go down here. As he U-turns. Probably out to Ferrothorn. Landorus. If this is Helmet, uh, I'm dying, but... It looks like it. Yep. It looks like Helmet damage. I could go Kingdra here and just click Scald. Which I think I want to do. Yeah. Because I need to burn Ferrothorn. I don't know of another way to deal with it. As it comes in, hopefully this burns. As we do burn it, so... Plans, uh... Coming together somewhat. What did he do here? Rocks? Spikes, maybe? Go out to my, uh... Pelipper. As he does spike up. Now, wondering if I should hurricane. I think so. <laughs> 25, and he misses Leech Seed. Go out to my uh, Tornadus. I don't want to U-turn and take Iron Barb's damage. Because I'm not going to do any damage in return, you know, so there's no point U-turning. He gets up another spike, so that's cool, I guess. Um, what do he fear? 
Heat wave? Uh, looks like he didn't. Uh, hurricane now, or U turn on the Coco? Would you really go Coco? Oh, Hurricane. As he did stay in and I knock him out. Nice. So, Ferrothorn is out of the way, which means I may have an opportunity to actually come back. May. <laughs> this is an awkward turn because... I'm not sure what my opponent would do here. If he Dracos, you know, his special attack is dropped, obviously. If he Hydros, I could go into my Kingdra. I think Kingdra is fine. Provided he's specs. Ice Beam. Okay, Kingdra was not fine. Forgot about Ice Beam. I guess I'll just risk the tie at this point. Like, <laughs> I have more to, uh... He has more to lose if he risks this. Like, I'm in a position where I can't switch out, so I have to risk it. He can. He can, like, try to pivot into Coco on hoping I go for Draco or whatever. But I'm going for Ice Beam, because, uh, you know, Draco can miss, he can double to this. Uh, Ice Beam is just my play that I'm willing to make. He's in a position where he could try to switch around and not risk the tie, but I'm my hands are tied and I kind of, I'm forced into this position. I just realized this whole battle is probably not helping tie at all. As he wins the tie, unfortunately, he might even be, like, timid or something. Weavile, Ice Beam... Doesn't do much. I think I want to go Weavile. And, uh, just slam something. As Lando was the Mon I slammed. So that goes down. Out to Pelipper now. Uh, this doesn't, like, knock me out or anything, so. Kinda want to. I guess I'll crash. Like, I don't... I don't see a point not doing it. I might get a flinch. As I don't. Um, you can obviously go uh, Coco now. Or even this. Once he goes Kingdra... I think I might have played this bad, because he can just click water attacks now. Though I do have this at full health. I wonder if this is worth saving for Ice Shard. I don't think it is. I think I'll just Ice Shard now for 18 damage. Good lord, that did nothing. I don't think he would stay in. I think he should go to, like, maybe his own Pelipper. Or Coco, even. If he does stay in, though, and attacks, I'm kind of in a bad position. Not really, though. Because this Surf shouldn't do much at all, I don't think. RIP! And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. There isn't a thing I can do at this point to come back. Because this Surf is going to kill my Swampert, and I'm probably just going to end up forfeiting after this turn. I guess I should have at least count to see how much my Hurricane would have done, but I really didn't expect him to stay in right there. Maybe he had a backup win con in uh, this thing. I don't know. But I'm yeah, pretty sure this game is over. And like I was saying earlier, this doesn't even help my buddy Ty learn how to take on rain teams. Because this is just rain v rain. And he kind of auto won because he had a Ferrothorn that I had to use so many resources on. Not to mention he got the lead right with uh, Coco as I led... Uh, this guy, and he happened to have Dazzling Gleam Tapu Koko. Okay, he has 90 seconds left. I may win via timeout. That's like the only conceivable way I believe I can win this. Hopefully he just, uh, disappears for the next 90 seconds and, uh, I'll emerge victorious. I'll, I will pause until he comes back, though, one way or another. If he doesn't come back, it'll be after I emerge victorious. Okay, he's back. Surf doesn't knock me out, and Earthquake is able to knock him out. Goes Coco. Do I knock out with uh, Rain, or Waterfall, Swampert? 
in the rain yes so no point in going for earthquake in case he tries to do something like that still three more turns of rain I think I got this so yeah, I gotta calc how much I do to Halucha. Ice Punch uh, should knock out. I think I have this. Oh wait. He had that electric seed. Yeah, that's game. Because <laughs> uh, this doubles his speed, right? Yep. Man, what a game. I didn't realize they had that electric seed. That's a, a good tech. I'll keep that in mind for future reference. Thought I had it there. He was taking a while. I thought I would have just outsped, but that electric seed saved him. He can just sack this, go into Coco, click T-Bolt twice, and win. I don't know what's taking him so long. Like, I have no idea what's taking him so long. As that happens, and Coco comes in, can just click T-Bolt and uh, win the game. We're at about 40 minutes already. <laughs> when did that happen? I feel like I haven't even gotten into things. I have time for like one, maybe two more battles. We'll see uh, what this next one is. If it looks like I can describe how my opponent... What is this? Semi-stall. Sable Talon? Chansey Skarm? Coco Bulu? <laughs> Hello? Shadow Tash, why are you doing this to me? Talon Flame. And Sun and Moon OU. This is crazy. I don't even know what to say about this. This is definitely the last game. <laughs> this is definitely an epic game to end it on. I'll lead uh, this, because I'll probably lead Sableye, yep. And I'm just going to Scald, because the last time I faced a stall opponent, he didn't even protect. He went for knockoff and allowed me to burn him. Let's see if this opponent... Okay, this one at least protected, so... There's that. Uh, I... He shouldn't stay in, but I'm... Okay, he did go out to Chansey, so... Might get a burn. Might be nice. No burn, unfortunately. Okay, you turn on that out to uh... my Jirachi as he gets up his rocks I wonder if I should try to get up my own or just Iron Head on his predicted uh... he should go Sable yeah Sableye because this is the only thing on my team that can um... have Stealth Rock so should I play this game try to flinch him down a little bit last time I went for Thunder it didn't really work do, do, do. This could be nice for Bulu. I would rather not risk that. Though I can't continue to go into this. I'll, I'll go for Iron Head. Has he just recovered? Go for it again. See if we get uh, lucky nice. There's a flinch. I'll go um, Kingdra now. As there he wisps. This game's gonna be much harder because I didn't get the burn on the Sableye that I got that other stall game. Because he should go Chansey right here, 100%. Like, there's no question about it. I'm gonna go, uh, this. Because he went Toxapex. Well, that's, that works too. The reason I did this is because I remember I have Healing Wish, so had he gone for Will O Wisp. I do have outs. I'll Earthquake. As Skarm comes out. This thing might start getting up some spikes. I'll go out to this U-turn, break his, uh, whatchamacallit. As he goes right for Brave Bird. That I was not expecting. I'll Roost on this now. Shouldn't stay in and risk getting burnt. Probably gonna go right back out to Chansey. There it is. I'll just, uh... U-turn on this. Go out to my Swampert. 
As these seismic tosses, okay. Do, do, do. Should I pup here? I don't see why not. I doubt he would go Sableye in the rain. If he stays in, Bulu. Tapu Bulu. Ice Punch does actually zero. Go out to uh, Jirachi here. He should Horn Leech, as he does. Up he is this. 79. Okay. Got an Iron Head here for sure. And Sableye does this again. This is an annoying game because I didn't get that burn. Get, we get a crit and a flinch. So now he has to uh, recover. I might as well go for it again. Uh, unfort. Grassy terrain is still up. The rain is not. I don't even know how to play against this. I just have to predict turn after turn after turn while rocks are up because this team doesn't have removal. This is such a bad, bad matchup. So Ty, if you want to beat Rain, just use this garbage stall team. Protect. Alright. Let me, uh, let me go this again, see what he does. I, c I was so close to clicking Stealth Rock that right there. You have no idea if, if you saw me hovering over it. That makes me so upset you don't even understand. Oh my gosh. Okay, um... Out to... Okay, Chansey again. So every time I bring in Kingdra, he's gonna go Chansey. That's what I'm getting out of this. Maybe I could... Try to burn this thing? Seismic Toss does so much damage, though! As he's just gonna keep it up. There's the burn, finally. Go out to Weavile now, cause he should heal bell, or whatever. As he just mindlessly seismic tosses. Um, I'll just pursue this thing for 25 damage. 25 damage damage, you guys. Should I knock this thing off? Don't really see what else I can do. Most likely gonna T-Spike. Or just hard toxic. Let's see, I go chives. Recover, okay. Healthy is this, 74. Is it time to reveal the thunder? Not yet. All rocks. The Skarmory comes out nice. I got up my rocks. I'll, uh, Iron Head. Oh, he's already helmet. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Here we go. Hard Thunder. Right now. Let's do this game. Let's do this. Did zero. Para. Okay. No defog. All right. All right. We can do this now. We can actually do this. If I land this thunder or he gets fully paralyzed. <laughs> oh, let's see. Ah, Skarm goes down. This is exactly where my previous opponent forfeited. Hopefully this guy does the same. Talon comes out. Like, what, what are you gonna do? Probably Roost? Go out to, uh, Pelipper. In case he did try to, like, Flare Blitz or something. Roost myself. He shouldn't be able to knock me out. This is probably... Oh. Taunt Talonflame in 2017. Forgot where we were for a minute there. You turn on his Chansey. I think it's time for Weavile. As he stays in, doesn't die, but his Eevee Light gets knocked off, so that's at least something. Please die to this. Ah, Chansey goes down. That makes room for Kingdra. K 
Can I actually come back? Maybe. Um, okay, well, I'm definitely knocking this thing's sludge off. Is that the play? Oh, yes it is. Shed shell, okay, that makes sense for, uh, Doug Trio. Fortunately, that doesn't really help me this game. Alright. Gotta go this, and... Gonna go for Ice Punch. Like, this is the play I have to make. As he goes Bulu, hopefully this is a two-hit KO. As it looks like it is. And I even freeze him. Watch him talk trash again, of course. Yep, there it is. Not to good old Toxapex. What should he do here? Um, Scald, maybe? Yeah, he should Scald or Toxic. Scald, four times resist that. Hurry up, fag, hello? Now I'll go Jirachi. As Bulu comes out, just gonna go for this Iron Head. As he thought immediately, got the Protect off. Nice. Iron Head again. As Toxpex comes out, looks like he forfeited or something. Good. Get this trash player out of here. Shadow Tash, more like Shadow Trash. <laughs> Let's look at mine though. 1535, so he climbed a few points. I feel like this probably wasn't very helpful to uh, my buddy Ty. Ty, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'll probably let you know beforehand this wasn't very helpful, so you don't need to watch this. Anyway, to anyone who is watching, thank you for uh, watching. Um, not sure when my next uh, laddering session will be. Um, we got some new megas coming out, like we saw that one guy had camera upped. I think soon uh, Gardevoir, Lopunny, and a few others are getting released. And uh, there might be a suspect test for Greninja soon. So all that in mind, I'm not sure when I will ladder next. Um, looking forward to it though. Hopefully you guys are as well. Thank you for watching though, guys.